See me kill family. We back with another video. I know everybody been like, damn, what's going on with the video with my boy? Listen, yo, you know what I'm saying? I've been hustling. I've been grinding. I've been putting in this work. Betty has officially made it to her new home. Um, so we're going to keep an update on her. See how she um, fits into the new home. Sophie. Sophie is officially sold. I sold Sophie. Sophie produced some fire ass litter, um, but I officially sold her. I'm not going to discuss how much I sold her for. Um, if you was interested in buying Sophie, that's why you got to follow me on Instagram because I sold her on Instagram. I posted up on Instagram. She sold within an hour. You know what I'm saying? I blessed somebody else. She made me 30 to 40K last litter. And you know what I'm saying? I sold her for a pretty big bag. You know what I'm saying? But I blessed somebody. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept her and, and bred her again, but I sold her. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to bless somebody else. The reason why, the real reason why I sold her, because everybody keep asking me why I sold her, it's not because, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's, I sold it because, um, man, as a breeder, man, you got to have a vision. You got to have a dream as a breeder. You can't just be breeders to breed. You feel me? So with that being said, I sold her because of the fact that, like, I got one of her daughters. I also got one of her daughters with juice um, pedigree in it, you know, with juice fucking genes in it. So, like, you know, what do I really still need her for? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to create something big. I'm trying to create something that somebody else don't have. I don't just breed just to breed for the money. I'm breeding for a vision. I'm breeding with a vision. I'm breeding with a dream. Like, I got, I got this fucking bully in my head that I'm trying to create in real life. And I'm not going to stop until I create that, that bull. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to stop until I create that shit. You feel me? So that's just how I go. You know? But right now, I'm currently cleaning up the uh, kennels and shit. Listen, because everybody getting fucking confused. Because I posted a video on fucking, um, I posted something on Instagram. And everybody was like, oh, shit. Is that a new dog? Listen, this is Nova. I already had Nova. Nova been here. Nova's been here since a puppy. We all know this. Come on now. That ain't nothing new. Nova's been here since a puppy, so that should be nothing new. She's black. We just got drama. We just got drama. Don't forget we just got drama. Drama is black. And we also have Mona. Mona is black. Mona is the girl I just got from Puerto Rico. Mona possibly could be pregnant. Um, don't forget I bred her the juice so she could possibly be pregnant. So I'm waiting to confirm her now. And y'all know we got big girl who's already pregnant. She's big as hell, bro. Like, look at this shit. That girl big as hell, bro. She read the bus. That girl is read the bus, boy. Look at that stun. That girl read the bus with them Sicario puppies. She read the bus, boy. Any day. Well, I ain't gonna say any day. But pups doing the 14th. Look out, man. Hennessy, man. That's, look, 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 look. Check this out. One thing about me, though. I might say a bit ain't gonna elevate this yard. But the, the three bitches that I know for a fact that's never gonna leave his yard is Nova. Nova's never leaving his yard. Nova is 12 months old, and she fucking and she fucking smaller than Hennessy. And Hennessy the smallest bitch I got. Hennessy is smaller than drama. Hennessy way smaller than drama. So just to give you guys an idea, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't mind drama. Drama got some problems going on right now. I guess it's like a change of diet or whatever, but. I'm going to be taking her to the vet soon to make sure she's okay because she's been having real bad diarrhea. Um, but Mona look good as fuck too. I would say Mona and Drama are about the same size. Like, but I would say Mona's maybe a little bit more thicker than Drama. Like, she's a little bit more thicker than Drama. But, again, my fucking, this girl right here is goddamn just short as fuck. I'm talking about short and thick and boned up. Nice head, nice everything. To be 12 months old, she got the same size head as fucking Henderson. And she's only 12 months old. And Hennessy is about 18 months. Yeah, I think Hennessy like 18 months. You guys know this is Hennessy first litter. So Hennessy would never go nowhere, so don't ask. Nova would never go nowhere, so don't ask. And Riri, Riri also. Riri would never go nowhere. Everybody else might be up for grabs. You know what I'm saying? Eventually could he possibly be up for grabs. But everybody else in the backyard. As always, y'all. Riri in the backyard too. I got Riri to stay in the backyard. I'm gonna show y'all some crazy shit though. So, Cardi kept getting out the fucking gate. So I'm like, Cardi, how the fuck you got out the gate? Look at Cardi done did, y'all. Cardi done put a hole right here. So, this is how I realized Cardi was gonna out the gate. But, um, 
I'm about to go ahead and get that white vinyl fence put up, man, and get this shit taken down. Because this shit right here is just old and garbage. So I'm finna get that shit put up. Um, re re them out there. Juice! Hello, Cardi. Re re. Where the hell Juice at? GG! GG! There you go, GG, right there. Look at GG, GG! Come here, GG. GG, where the hell you was at, girl? What, Juice? Juice, come here, Juice. Look at Juice. Y'all better have it set. Juice! Juicy! Get your ass home, boy. Y'all ever seen that damn uh that video on YouTube on uh, Instagram? The little dog be getting out. And the owner got mad and told him to get his ass home. Look at Juice. The hell you doing back there, Juice? GG having fun. Bang on lie. No cap though, bro. GG ass fitting in just fine, man. GG fitting in just fine. She loving her new environment. Come on. Drama. Come on, drama. Drama. Come on, drama. See, I told y'all. Look at the drama. I don't know. She be alright though. But um I'm surprised Riri's standing in the back, bro. Cause Riri don't ever stand in the back and shit like that. But she's standing in the back. Surprise me. I gotta take Hennessy out and let y'all see this girl, man. Goddamn Mona. Let me try. It's only been like a week or so, so I can't really tell if Mona pregnant or not. Mona, come here. I can't really tell if she is pregnant. It ain't been that long, so I really it's hard for me to tell. Come on, Mona, get in your face. Get that, Mona. Somebody tried to buy Mona from me, man. That's shocked. He was like, oh, you want to sell her? Bro, come on, bro. I just got Mona. But if the bag right, I don't know, man. Nipples kind of looking promising, man. It's been like two weeks, let me see. Nipples kind of look promising, man. I don't know, man. Another juice litter coming. Another juice litter coming. Mona, look at that bitch, but that's, but she big, bro. She something else, man. Y'all know we got Hennessy in the cut. Yeah, but like I was saying though, man, um, I had to sell Sophie, man. It was a business decision. And I keep getting all these fucking questions on why I sold her. And, why I did this and why I did that, bro. It's a business decision, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you a business owner, man, you have to make business decisions based on, you know, your goal, your dream, what you're trying to do. You can't listen to nobody else, you know what I'm saying? So I've gotten, I sold Sophie within a fucking hour. And when I say I got fucking hundreds of DMs, like, why you sold her, why you this, why you that? Bro, when you a breeder, bro, you can't fall in love with these dogs, bro. Like, yeah, you can have that one or two, three, maybe three at the most specific dogs that you fall in love with. You got to love all your dogs. You have to love all your dogs, but you can't, you can't fall in love with all your dogs, bro. It's a business. You got to understand that. It's a business. So you can't look at this shit. A business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit. Come in, Nova. Where the hell are you going, Nova? Nova, where are you going? Nova. Nova. Man, Nova ain't got no taller. But like I said, man, it's a business, it's a fucking business decision, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be, you know, making all these damn judgmental, you know what I'm saying, like this and that, that and that. Come here. But, you know, with me, bro, like I said, with me, bro, it's different because, like, I make a lot of business decisions based upon my future and what I'm trying to create. It should be kennels. So, you know, with my dogs, you know what I'm saying? Some of my dogs have flaws. Like I'm, I'm, I'm man enough, and I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying nobody's dog is perfect. Nova, come here. Nova, come here. Let's go. Come here, Nova. Nobody's dog is perfect. You feel me? So with that being said, me, um, I'm breeding to breed out of flaws. You know what I'm saying? So like the flaws that I come across with my dogs, I'm breeding to breed out the flaws. So with that being said, if that means I have a dog and I breed to her, and she got flaws. You know, I'm gonna breed to her something. I'm gonna breed to her that's something that's gonna, you know, breed out the flaws. Mm -hmm. But it just depends on the breeder, man. Everybody, Nova, everybody breed for different things, you know. Everybody have different. Look at this girl. Everybody breed for different things, man. With me, come on, Nova. Nova, come on. Nova. Nova, let's go. Nova's small as hell, man. Nova like a fucking puppy. Everybody breed for different things, man. It just depends on what you breed for as a breeder. You know, I don't really care what nobody else said about me. People are like, oh, your dogs are horrible. Your dogs are this. Your dogs are that. Your dogs are 
not healthy. Your dogs are not not great. Your dogs are bad. There it is. They're bad. I don't, bro. Listen, I don't take offense to nothing nobody say. And the reason being is because it's like, bro, why am I listening to you? You're nobody for me to listen to. Like, I don't get in my feelings. Like, when I first started YouTube, I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to get in my feelings about the comments. I really used to get in my feelings about the comments because of who I am as a person and where I come from. And the crazy thing about everything, y'all, that really get me about this YouTube shit, bro, half the niggas, half the motherfuckers that be in your comments selling out, bro, you see the motherfuckers in real life, bro, they not on none of that hot boy shit they talking, bro. So it's like, what am I feeding into this for? And I know in real life ain't none of y'all on that hot boy shit y'all hollering about in the big comments, like, so it's like, I look at that shit and keep on going. That shit don't get my feelings anymore. I'm way beyond that point. Um, I don't want negativity in my life, you feel me? So I'm way beyond that point where a bitch can say something and they get me mad or it get me my feelings. Because bro, I'm beyond that point, bro. Like, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? I'm growing as a man. I'm growing in every, you know what I'm saying, aspect of myself. So I'm beyond that shit. But I ain't gonna lie, probably, <laughs> you know, they'd have caught me a couple years ago. I'd have been on that hot boy shit, you feel me? But like I said, I'm growing, man. I don't really care about none of that shit. I'm trying to be the better me. You know what I'm saying? So if you are an up and coming YouTube YouTuber, you gotta always remember, man. You gonna have motherfuckers in your comments. My boy, my boy, OTMO, he just started. He got a couple negative comments. And he called me, he was like, yo, you know, like, bro, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? He was hot. He was ready to turn up. And I was like, bro, you know, listen, bro, when you when you start this YouTube shit, you gonna have people that's gonna comment and get, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, you gotta overlook that shit, bro, because motherfuckers gonna hate on you. Motherfuckers ain't gonna like what you're doing. Motherf motherfuckers not gonna support what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta just like, overlook that shit, bro, let that shit go. Don't even worry about that shit. Where the hell drama at? Drama? Come here, drama. What the hell you doing? Come here, drama. Come here, girl. Look, see, the three girls, three black girls, for everybody that keep asking me what the hell going on. Mona, we know Mona just got, know what been here, and we just got drama. I think Mona took. I think Mona took. Come on, Mona. Mona, come here. But, again, like I was saying, y'all, Hennessy puppies drop soon. Y'all know what time it is, this big old girl. Hennessy puppies dropping soon. Look at that stomach. Look at that, get in there. Get in there, Hennessy. Look at that stomach. Hey girl, Mona, Mona. Oh, that's drama, hey Mona. What Mona that drama? Drama, what Mona? But I'm not gonna make this video too long, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want to come to you guys with a quick video, not too major. Uh, pups are doing good. So the guy who bought um, Sophie, he will be getting her in uh, a few weeks when she's ready. She's not ready for the next two weeks, so uh, he won't be able to pick her up for like at least another two weeks. I have started weaning the pups off of mom. If you guys follow my Instagram, you'll see uh, what I'm uh, going through so far with the pups and all that good stuff. But, like I was saying, you know, I've been caught up in YouTubers, bro. You got to overlook these comments. Don't let these comments get to you because them same motherfuckers that be hating your comments be the same ones that, you know what I'm saying, like, see you in real life and like, oh, my God, bro, I'm your biggest fan, bro, like this and that. But you the same motherfuckers in my comments hating. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. I'm not tripping on that, bro. You just a dick rider, you know what I'm saying? You, just a, you know what I'm saying? You just a, you know what I'm saying, a clock chaser. So, we ain't worried about that. But... You know, like I said, I love you guys as always in every other video. My next video, well, not my next video, but I'm excited about this fucking Mona. Look at this shit. I'm telling y'all, drama and Mona about the same height, but Nova's shorter than all the motherfuckers. Look, see the, like, see the height difference? Mona is about 16 months. Nova is about uh, 12 months. But like I was telling you guys, man, in the next scene, in the next video, always remember quality over quantity.
Never fall in love with these dogs if you are trying to become a breeder. You want to breed for quality. You don't want to just be out this bitch breeding just to do it. Always remember that. You know what I'm saying? Breed for your liking. Don't breed for nobody else. So what anybody else shouldn't matter. You know what everybody else got to say about your breedings or whatever you got going on shouldn't matter because you're breeding for you at the end of the day. You're not breeding for nobody else. Um, I always remember that, guys. I love you guys. Um, to the next video, we gone.